Good day. God be with you. Monday, November the 15th, 2021. Today's scripture reading is chapter 18, 33, verses through 37, as it was yesterday. Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The title of the message today is Your Kingdom Come. When I was a child, I took this verse to mean that Jesus did have a kingdom, far off in space. It was probably like heaven, where my young mind imagined we would all walk on clouds and ride unicorns. I believe Jesus would eventually transport all of us to this magical kingdom when he came again. Of course, as I grew older, I grew out of these ideas, beginning to understand that Jesus meant that his kind of kingdom would be something completely at odds with how our world tends to function. Jesus, who promised that the first shall be last and the last shall be first, would not have a kingdom recognizable to any of us. He was always turning things upside down, going against the cultural norms. Why would his kingdom be any different? When we pray, your kingdom come, we pray for our kingdoms to be toppled so that gods can thrive. It might mean we give up some of our own power, but wouldn't that be worth it to experience what God has in store? Let us pray. O Christ, help us work for your kingdom to come. Amen.